Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be doing Goku Rose. So it's like Goku Black when he turns into his sort of godlike rose colored hair form. So it's close up on his face. Let's go. His right eye. So we start with the right eyebrow. So we're just gonna do, find the middle. It's down near the bottom to fit in the hair. So we're gonna start down here and we're gonna do a diagonal line just this way. And then you can do something similar on this side. So there's that's where the two eyebrows are gonna be. They're both gonna go off this way and meet his fringe. So Goku's fringe, Goku Black's fringe is the same as regular Goku. So this comes up, stops about here, meets a spike for his fringe that's just there. And then the top part comes down this way. So then the other one is pretty much the same, maybe a little bit longer. So this one comes up this way, meets a spike for hair, the fringe just there. And then this one comes back down to the middle of his face, just there. Now, so then we have the box like Dragon Ball eyes. So. We do a straight line down, diagonal line across, and then a straight line back up towards his eyebrow. In there you have his iris, semicircle, and then we do the same thing over here. So we just do a straight line down, kind of diagonal, and then we go across to about there. And then this is going to go up diagonal to his eyebrow. Like that. These are kind of like boxes. And then we have another semicircle in there for his iris. Now, so then we can just see some frown lines just above his eye, just there for his brow, like that. And then he has those uh, lines on his cheeks that Dragon Ball characters have. Just these sort of sketchy lines just across the cheeks, just there. Now coming down the middle of his face, we have his nose. So we just do a straight line down and then a line diagonal this way. And the shadow is on this side of his nose. So we do a little triangle sort of shape on this side, diagonal line down, back in, and then back up to there. So it's that typical Dragon Ball style nose that we see in a lot of the Saiyan characters at least. Now right under that, real close to the nose, we have his mouth, so he's smiling in this one. So we're just going to do a smiley top lip, curves up like that. And we can see his teeth then just under that lip. So we're going to bring the sides down, like this, and then on the other side too. And then this line will join together on the bottom, just there. And then we can see just a little line just for teeth, just on this side. Then we have just some lines on the edge of that mouth, just there. And one here. And then we have a little line for the chin, just underneath. Just like that. Then we have his chin, just right under there. So a real small, skinny chin just there, and then we can do his jaw and the side of his face. Of course, if I go too fast, feel free to pause the video, slow it down. So that's the line for the jaw on that side, line for the jaw there, and then this line will curve up towards the rest of his fringe on the side of his, on the side of his head, just there. This one will come up as well, touch that fringe just there as well. Now, so we can do, he's got about five pieces of fringe that stick down on his head. So we'll start with the ones that uh, touch the eyebrows. We'll start with the left one. So this comes up this way, comes around like this. And then we go down back to the bottom, bring it up, back in like that. 
Then the next piece of fringe comes up from here, curve line like that, comes across, comes back down, curves around, down the middle of his face. This one, right, right down towards his nose. See there? And then this one will come up, and I'll go back in here. And then in here we have some lines just for hair, just to show that this is inside, underneath parts of his hair. And then we'll go on and do the rest. So this comes down and touches this here, this point we did, and then this one will come up and come around there. Then we have another spike just here, comes down past his ear, comes back up to there. We can see a little bit of the eyebrow just past this fringe, just there, the end of the eyebrow, just in there. And then we have one more piece of fringe on this side. So it curves down from here, comes back up like that. And we can see his ears in under each of these edge ones, this one and this one. So starting here, diagonal out, diagonal down, and then this one will come back in around towards his face just there. And then of course you have the lines for bones and ligaments in the ear. It's like this. And on this ear he has an earring. So like the fusion sort of earring, he has one of them on. So we do just a piece that comes up this bit that goes into his ear semicircle another little circle coming off that and then we have a curved line like this with a ball underneath it then we go over and do the other ear so it comes down from this piece of fringe Bring a line diagonal in towards the face. And then it goes more in then that way. Then you have your lines for the ears in there, for the bones and ligaments of the ear. Just like that. Now, so we gotta do that sort of flame-like Saiyan, Super Saiyan hair that comes, comes up around his head. So we can start on the sides with the smallest ones and work our way up to the very top and it's like right at the top of my page right up there so we start here anyway so we have one spike small and we have another small spike over here and then these gradually get bigger so we go up this way spike this one curves back. And then we have another one that comes up here and meets a spike that comes out from the middle of his head. So we have a spike just comes down this way and back towards the middle of his face. And now this line will continue to a spike on the side of his head, comes back to there. Now we have the biggest spike of all of them. Comes up like this, curves around to that point at the very top of my page there. And then this one will travel back down to there. Meets another spike, just there. Another one here. Spiking down, coming down now this side. Another spike here. And then smaller ones on the side. There's two spikes just in the middle of his head then. So we go up here, comes across this direction to a point and then back down and then the last one is just here so we curve it up and then comes back down there now of course in 
all of those spikes there's lines just for for hair so just like various lines following the shapes of the spikes so you don't have to be too precious about this you could do it many different ways you're just sort of following the shape of each spike so like this bike goes this way so these these lines will follow that direction so say like the side of this bike we'll do a line here like a line down the middle of the spike will follow the shape of the spike we'll do another one here maybe a smaller one beside it we'll come up this way for this bike right there there um, you do one coming down the middle of this one Another one then here, one here, one here. So they're always following the shape of the spike that they're drawn on. So one coming down the middle of this one. One there, one there, one there. Um, some here. So I'm nearly there now. So last few spikes. Of here. One there, one there. One here. One coming that way. Two here. Okay, I think that's it. So we'll go down and we'll do his neck. So his neck, uh, wide neck, muscular, comes right down, the lines come down right from his jawline, just here. Like that. Then we have the lines for the muscles inside. One there, one here. Maybe another one just like here. And then we have the top of his clothes, his shoulders, just here. So we'll do his trap muscles behind first, just that go into the clothes, just there. And then these curve around for the top of his jacket that comes down into a V, same on the other side, comes down off the bottom of my page there. And then we'll do the sides of it. Comes down like that. Diagonal down, comes that way. And we can see the top of his collarbone just in here bumpy line for his chest muscles and his collarbone just there and then he has like a polo neck uh, just a line that differentiates skin from his clothes just here it comes across his neck he got like black clothing on here and then this is skin in there and then we'll finish his shoulders so just bumpy lines for clothes goes off my page same on this so a bump diagonal off that way And I think that's it. Um, yep, I think that's it. So there he is, uh, Goku Rose. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Like, subscribe, share.